Hello this is Captain Vaughn and welcome to another video. Today's topic is the VCX-100 light freighter, or more simply known as the VCX-100. The VCX-100 was a light freighter of Corellion design, the most notable of which was the Ghost, the main vessel of the Phoenix Cell. In addition the vessel participated in numerous battles, the Ghost most notably, participated throughout the entire Galactic Civil War, and even in the Battle of Exogol. Anyway now to the stats. The VCX-100 was 43.9 meters long, 34.2 meters wide, and 14.5 meters tall, and it was equipped with two main engines and two secondary engines. In addition the vessel could go at a rather fast pace for a large obviously narrow dynamic metal box, as it could go at speeds of up to 1,025 km per hour, and it was equipped with a Class 2 and a backup Class 14 hyperdrive. The VCX-100 had rather standard armament, for a CEC stock light freighter as it was equipped with two CEC dual laser cannon turrets. The VCX-100 could be operated by a minimum crew of one, though it required a crew of four in order to operate effectively. In addition the vessel could carry six passengers, one VCX series auxiliary starfighter, and one month's worth of consumables. The VCX-100 was manufactured by Corellion Engineering Corporation, and it would have cost a relatively moderate price of 155,000 credits new. Now to my personal opinion. Overall I believe that this vessel was quite good, it had decent armament, it could pull off a fairly fast pace, and it had a mediocre set of hyperdrives. The VCX-100 seems like one of those standard CEC light freighters, that is not good or bad in any particular category. Anyway that's all for today and until next time I'm Captain Vaughn and thank you for watching.